Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to show you how to use timelines in the game maker. So there is the folder timelines. I can click here, click create and create timeline. So like this is really simple window what we have. I'm going to rename this to the uh, TML spawn because we are going to use timeline to spawn uh, enemies. So what is timeline? In timeline you can build like some events which will happen one after another. Uh, so I, I will try here to simulate, like if you're familiar with games such as Tower Defense, where you have the enemy which is uh, every round moving from one point on the map to the another. So we are going to implement the similar using the timelines. So our timeline will be responsible for spawning those enemies. So there is just two buttons. One is add and remove. So once I click add, it's added like entity here with value zero. So I would keep it as zero. And next I'm going to add one more and I will change this to the 60. So once I change this value, I don't see how it can be changed again. So once you set it to the zero, so it's zero. If you need, you need to delete and create this again. So what, what these numbers mean, zero and 60? So zero is just when we, when we are starting. And 60 is the FPS. So uh, Game Maker by default run uh, on 60 FPS. So 60 FPS mean one second. So this happened when we just start our timeline. And this next action is happened in one second after we start our timeline. I can add here more, like I can have here like 120 and I can have as many as I need. But in this case, I would need just two because I'm going to spawn one, like just one uh, type of the enemy. And I have the object here, created object enemy, which has like this green sprite and no events. Uh, I'm going to call here method for uh, where is moment zero. And I'm going to call here instance create. Uh, this method is used to create um, objects. And as coordinate, I'm going to specify X and Y. This is the coordinate of our uh, timeline uh, object, which we're going to create later. Next, what I need to specify if the uh, object, which is will be spawned, in, in our case, this is the object enemy. And next one is, uh, uh, sorry, I made here a bit mistake. Take. So before object, I need to provide one more variable, which is depth. And I'm going to just specify the one. Depth is like uh, when you have many objects, who will be on top and who will be on, on bottom, which will be visible, which is not. So that will be our code for uh, this timeline. And for this is 60, I keep this as empty because like this is just one second pause between spawning the enemies. And now uh, I'm going also to need another object, which is called pass, which we learned in the previous video. So I already have it from the previous video created, but let me delete um, some of those and I would create it again. So this is, will be our pass, how uh, our object is going to move. So I would do something like this and like that. And let's keep something like like this. So that that will be our pass. So now uh, I'm going inside of the object. I'm going in the create event. I'm going to start the pass. So to use that, I will run the method pass start. If you are not familiar with the pass, please look into the previous video in the current playlist about the passes, how to use them, and. I need to provide our pass, which will be, uh, which we are going to run. Then I will provide speed. Let's try something like three. Uh, then I'm going to provide here, uh, what action are we going to take? This will be the pass action stop because we want to stop at the final position. And finally, this is the absolute or not. I'm going to specify here false because I want, uh, for pass to start from the object, not from the coordinate on the map. And we would need another object, 
uh, which will be responsible for uh, spawn our object. So I would call it object spawn. And there is no sprite is required. And I also going to add a create event because I want this action to uh, start happening when we just uh, started our game. And I need to provide a few arguments here. First is the timeline index. This is the name of the, our timeline. So I created as timeline spawn. Next one is the timeline loop. This is like, do I want to run this timeline one time or do I want to run, like repeat this in the loop? And finally, I want to start the timeline. I would specify timeline running through. Now I have this object and I need to place this object on my room. So here is the room. I'm going to delete this uh, object enemy and I would put here object spawn like approximately at the left top. And now let's try to run the game. And what's going to happen from this position? As you see, every second objects are spawning and they are just you are like using our path which we define it and, and stopping here. So if the, if this will be tower defense, so here you would have some crystal or some other things which you're trying to protect and enemy would start hitting those objects. So that's all what I wanted to show you today. Thank you for your attention. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to do not miss new video. Have a nice day.